In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NFL games happening on August 10, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NFL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Houston Texans vs. New England Patriots It's the first full week of the NFL preseason and it brings us a battle of American football conference teams that were below .500 and missed the postseason taking the field in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The Houston Texans are on the road as they travel to face the New England Patriots Thursday night. Houston finished the 2022 season 3-13 to 1 to finish last in the AFC South and missed the postseason by a wide margin. New England was third in the AFC East in 2022 with an 8-9 record and missed the playoffs as they stumbled down the stretch with five losses in their final seven games. In regular season meetings, the Patriots own a 9-3 advantage, including a 25-22 road win in the most recent matchup on October 10, 2021. These teams have met just once in preseason action with the Texans prevailing 27-23 at home on August 19, 2017. The Texans and the Patriots will play on Thursday night in both teams' first preseason game of 2023. News so far is that rookie first-round picks C.J. Stroud will start for the Texans over Davis Mills. In Stroud's final year at Ohio State, he led the Buckeyes to the CFP and was a missed field goal away from a shot at the national championship game. He finished the year with 36 88 yards and 41 touchdowns with only six interceptions. The Patriots are playing it close to the chest as always, but it is assumed Mac Jones will be the starter this year. He has been getting most of the first team reps in training camp, which means he will probably not play in this game. Bailey Zapp or even Trace McSorley could start this game. The Texans have a lot to prove this year with a new rookie quarterback and a new head coach in D'Amico Ryans. Ryans was the defensive coordinator for the 49ers, so Houston is expected to improve significantly on that side of the ball. They unfortunately have a lot of ground to make up from last year. The Texans only averaged 17 points per game last year and allowed 25 points per game. The Patriots were better, but not by much, averaging 21 points per game on offense and allowing 20 points per game on defense. Stroud has shown some flashes during training camp, and I'm still not sold on Mac Jones really being the long-term answer for the Patriots. Zapp has also had his struggles during training camp, and he's going to really struggle to get any type of offense going here. In preseason games, I tend to lean toward the team that has the better quarterback depth because it's the one position that can turn a game, and it's easier to examine than the countless rotations at other positions. The Texans have the edge there, as Davis Mills is a starter-capable quarterback with experience, and C.J. Stroud is the flashy rookie eager to make a splash. The competition should bring the best out of both guys. Bailey Zapp and Mac Jones are both question marks and are probably backups until proven otherwise. The lack of scoring for the Patriots is going to be enough for the Texans to get the job done. I have more confidence in the Texans' quarterback situation at the moment, so that's where I lean in this pick'em preseason game. So the Houston Texans to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Houston went under the total in two of their three preseason games last season. The loan over that the Texans recorded in the preseason last season came in the preseason finale against the Buccaneers, when the teams combined for 39 points against a 36 and a half point total. New England was in a similar situation last preseason, staying under the total in two of their three preseason tilts in 2022. The Patriots went over the total in their preseason opener, combining for 44 points with the Giants to surpass a total of 34 and a half points. With the Texans trotting out a ton of rookies on both sides of the ball and neither offense being overly impressive a season ago, lean toward this one winding up below the total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Minnesota Vikings vs. Seattle Seahawks Two NFC playoff hopefuls will kick off their preseasons on Thursday night when the Minnesota Vikings travel to Seattle to take on the Seahawks. The Vikings won the NFC North Division in 2022 and will look to repeat as champions in 2023. The Seattle Seahawks earned a wildcard berth in 2022 thanks to the surprising play of 2022 NFL Comeback Player of the Year, quarterback Geno Smith. 
Although the duo of Kirk Cousins and Justin Jefferson remains intact, the Minnesota Vikings have to replace a lot of their complementary pieces this season. I'm not banking on Cousins and Jefferson to see much action, if any, in this game, and it's going to take some time for the rest of Minnesota's squad to gel. Seattle, meanwhile, has a veteran backup quarterback in Drew Locke, who is arguably capable of being a starter in this league. Assuming Locke sees playing time on Thursday, the Seahawks should have a massive advantage at the quarterback position, and even if it does come down to the rookie quarterbacks in this game. I prefer Holton Allers, who was a four-year starter with a big arm and had a lot of success at East Carolina. Digging even deeper into the numbers, the Vikings were an incredible 11-0 last season in games decided by eight points or fewer. There is bound to be some regression from that mark moving forward. Seattle's improved defense should be able to keep Minnesota in check to open the preseason. While Carroll is just 1-5 in his last two preseasons, the Seahawks should have the edge on Thursday night with more roster depth than the Vikings. Minnesota Minnesota's defense, which struggled for large stretches of 2022, will be spending the preseason trying to develop continuity with new DC Flores schemes. They will have difficulty facing Seahawks veteran backup quarterback Drew Locke on Thursday night. Locke does not have the luxury of competing for the starting job this season, but he is certainly a more established backup than the Vikings' Nick Mullins and rookie Jaron Hall. I don't expect any of the offensive starters from either team to see many, if any, reps in this game. Vikings head coach O'Connell proved last season in his first preseason as head coach, that he doesn't feel any pressure to win preseason games after his team went 0-3 in 2022. The line moved up two points in the Seahawks' favor this week, which likely factors in Locke's advantage at the quarterback position in this game. Kevin O'Connell also went 0-3 against the spread in his first year at the helm in the preseason last year, while Pete Carroll's put together a 26-19-1 mark against the spread in his career in the preseason. I believe that Carroll, a master motivator, is going to have his guys going already in this one. The majority of games in the preseason fall into the same mindset for me. Look at the team with greater depth and for my money, top to bottom, I think that's the Seattle Seahawks. I'm going to lean toward the Seahawks, a team that will be playing with far more continuity this preseason than the Vikings. So the Seattle Seahawks to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. As I said earlier, the Vikings will be working in a new defensive scheme this preseason and that could lead to some errors in the early going. Last year, the Vikings allowed 22 points per game in the preseason and that number could rise this season as they go through growing pains making the changes and sit some key veterans in the preseason. The Seahawks' defense was even worse than the Vikings in last year's preseason. The Seahawks allowed an average of over 28 points per game last preseason. With a team full of veterans like Wagner and Adams, don't expect Carroll to play many starters on defense in the preseason's first game. With that in mind, the offenses should be ahead of the defenses in the preseason opener. Both defenses had some issues last year and while we won't see many starters on either side of the ball, we should see some good competition for the backup quarterback spot for each team. Tackling is usually an issue in the preseason as well, as teams don't do a ton of full contact before the first game. I believe that we are going to see some points scored here. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.